Hey, Walk the Line listeners, welcome to a, another episode of the Walk the Line podcast. I'll be your host, Greg Sowers, and today's episode will most likely be pretty short. Um, and just as a PSA before we get started, this episode um, isn't about hockey in particular. It's more about um, appreciating the people who are around and, and help you get to your your goals um, in the end. Everyone's got a goal and there's obviously, it's very hard to do it by yourself. Um, and just wanted to, to share some thoughts I had over the past week. Um, and I recently lost someone who's uh, been a big part of my life and um, the reason why I got to where I am today. Um, so again, if, if you're looking for something hockey specific, uh, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't going to be the episode. And uh, normally I have a, a script or kind of an outline of what I want to go through, but um, just try to get through this one with speaking, you know, off the top. And um, again, I know I discussed this uh, when I first started this podcast, but um, you know, it's not only for everybody listening, but um, you know, I was looking for an outlet too to talk more about, you know, the thing I love in hockey and, um, and I'm not a writer and I'm barely a speaker. So um, this seemed a little bit, uh, easier where I could just talk and didn't have to get my thoughts out on paper. Um, and again, uh, if you don't feel like listening, that's fine. Um, but I, I th just think it's important that, you know, for all the listeners out there, hockey or not, um, you know, if you have a goal you're trying to achieve and uh, it's, it's obviously tough. Um, the, the, the goals that are worth something are tough to accomplish. And um, you know, you need lucky bounces. You obviously need to put the work in. Um, but it's very rare that you're able to do it all by yourself. Um, and that those are the people who, you know, late at night are giving you pep talks or you have a bad practice. Um, they're there to, to pick you back up. Um, they're also the ones who, when good things happen, they're there to cheer you on and, and encourage you um, to do better in the future. Um, they're driving you to early morning practices and, uh, you know, picking you up from, again, not, not hockey specific, but picking you up from whatever it is, you know, when they got their own stuff going on, um, they're there to support you the whole way through your, your adventure. Um, and I just think it's important that for, for all the listeners, as you take a moment to appreciate who those people are, um, and quite honestly, some of the people that, uh, who, who are going to do it for you in your life aren't, aren't in your life right now. Um, you guys are squirts or peewees or bantams, you know, maybe it's when you get into, get into high school or you get into college, it's a teacher, it's a, it's a friend, it's a, uh, a professor. Um, it could be a coach, uh, you know, just make sure you are taking the time to, you know, show that person how much you appreciate, um, what they're doing for you. Um, and, you know, again, in your adventure, in your path to get to where you want to be. Um, you know, I'm recording this podcast on, on Tuesday night. Um, we had the NHL awards on Monday here in Nashville and we had, or we're going to have the first round of the draft, uh, tomorrow night. And, um, you know, even, even last night at the awards, uh, this, the speeches that the guys give, it's, you know, you rarely hear the word I, it's always, you know, my team, my teammates, my coach. Um, but then they also mentioned their, their parents, um, and those guys get it. I mean, obviously they're making millions of dollars and they reach the pinnacle of, of their sport. Um, but you know, even at that level, you know, you take a, a high level view at it and you see all those little things that people have done along the way. And, um, <laughs> you're not always, uh, happy with, with the people that help you. Um, you know, if, if they're good and they're, you know, they mean well, and they're trying to do the right thing for you, they may uh, push you. And that, that leads to disagreements. And, um, and I think we just saw to remember that there's um, when those people are in your life, and they're motivating you, you they may not always tell you what you want to hear. If they're always telling you what you want to hear, you may not improve, you know, if you had a, a crappy practice or a crappy game, or you had a bad attitude, you want that person to call you out on it and make sure you're you know, you're better the next time you get on the ice or the field or whatever it may be. Um, so again, um, just make sure you're, 
you're being appreciative. And um, if you're a kid listening to this podcast, make sure you tell your parents, thank you. And, uh, and grandparents, if they're <laughs> involved and in, in helping, um, cause one day you'll get old, like, like me or your parents and you'll, you'll want to make sure they realize how appreciative, uh, you can, or you are, um, of them. Uh, so again, I, this wasn't going to be a long podcast, but it was just, you know, we do these once a week and, uh, Again, I, it's also an outlet for, for me to talk and get things out there. Um, so uh, I do hope everybody has a chance to, to watch the draft, um, is enjoying their summers, and uh, make sure you're putting in the work. Um, and then obviously just, you know, say a thank you to the people who are helping you along the way because uh, you're not going to get to where you want to go without those people. Um, so I think that's it for for tonight. I hope everyone has a great rest of your week. Um, and we'll be talking to you, uh, the next, uh, July 5th. Uh, so everyone have a safe 4th, 4th of July. I'll talk to you soon.